Hello and welcome to vlog number 12. I would put my fingers up to show that but I don't have enough fingers. Um, unlike last week's vlog, um, the sun is shining, it has been glorious today. It, oh, it's been really hot actually, I've just been sort of lounging around like an overheated lizard um, and then going shopping. So now it's like 8 o'clock on a Saturday and we are going for a little walk. Well, I'm going to try and run so that should be, should be a hoot. I'm going to be doing um, a couple of book reviews this time, yay! And um, probably a shoe review because I have got my Fairfax and Favour drivers and they are beautiful. I'm very jealous of all the people who went to the Fairfax and Favour polo today. It is a... what's the opposite of a perk? An anti-perk. A... it'll come to me of having small children that you can't always go to lovely things um, due to childcare issues but like, it's completely fine and I'd probably been a, a sweat hot mess you know a sweaty hot mess I and mean, when you saw how, if you saw how beautiful everybody looked um, yeah but you know it looked like an absolutely amazing day and the Instagram stories and the pictures I've seen have been absolutely fabulous so big well done for Fa to Fairfax and Favour for that it looks absolutely stunning so I may pay homage to that and um, talk about my shoes. Seems seems fair. I'm also going to have a chat about a couple of books I've really enjoyed reading. Just finished 24 Assets by Dan Priestley. Priestley? Priestley. Yeah, she's actually a really good read, really interesting. And um, I think that, yeah, I did, I reviewed Lucky Bitch last time, which was again a really good book. So I will speak to you soon. I've got to cook for seven tomorrow, you know, for kicks, because it's Father's Day, which I hadn't at all forgotten about. Hello, so it is Sunday, yay! And you won't believe how many, we're like next to the road. I have been in about six different locations because it is so sunny, so sunny, that it's making the ground look white. I think it's overexposed or something. So I'm now sat, I mean, I can actually show you behind. There's a roller, there's a little kid's dumper truck thing, there's a sledge, there's a compost heap, I think, a wheelbarrow. But this side, it looks really, really good. Anyway, I'm going to be just, I said yesterday when I was walking um, that I was going to do two quick book reviews this vlog. The first one is this. Now this is um, How to Get Your Leg Over by Victoria Brandt, who's Diary of a Wimpy Eventer. And I started reading it yesterday night to my children, um, which sounds wrong on every level. But actually, if you read it and if you follow Victoria, it's it's not like quite what it seems. Um, it's lovely. Basically, she Victoria lost her confidence in a big way riding, and it, it essentially charts her journey, going from not being able to get onto her horse, feeling physically sick, um, just not being able to at all. Um, to now competing at you know, BE affiliated events and doing flipping well. But it's it's really, really lovely. You can really follow her journey. So I read it to my small children last night and realised I've been reading them for about an hour. Actually, it was more than that. It was more than an hour. And realised I'd gone like halfway through the book. Um, it was much more than an hour. I don't know. I'd eaten my tea. I was fine. And then I sat and read the whole thing um, that night, apart from five pages I just finished. But it is completely brilliant really brilliant. I'm going to pop a link below um, for you to go and look at it and I'm going to also put a link to Victoria's Facebook page which I'm a bit of a, it's a I, was, I was going to say guilty pleasure but it's not a guilty pleasure at all but it's a fabulous fabulous read. I'm going to do a full review for it on my YouTube channel next but it's a really really good book. The next one I'm going to talk about is a bit different it's Daniel Priestley, I think that's how you say his name, let's say he is called Daniel Priestley, um, his new book 24 Assets which is more of a kind of business book that I usually read. Um, obviously this wasn't meant to be a business book. This is really kind of uplifting and aspirational, I have to say. But this is about creating 24 assets that make your business, well, let's read it, it says, create a scalable, no it doesn't. It says, create a digital, scalable, valuable and fun business that will thrive in a fast changing world. So it essentially looks at 24 assets and these aren't necessarily physical assets, but they're things like, hold the line. Um, here we go, content, meth oh, I cannot say this, me methodology, um, intellectual property, 
brand assets, product assets, there's loads of things like that. So it's a really interesting read actually, it's quite involved and you can feel really overwhelmed by reading it. But it is a really good thing, a lot of, a lot of the things, when you sort of read it you think, oh my god, you know, you don't actually call it those names in your own world, so a lot of the things a lot of things that he suggested, for example, I already do and have, but I don't call them the same terms. I'm just trying to think of an example. Um, here we go, product assets. So gifts, product for prospects, core product and product for clients. So actually, if you read what, if you sort of read it, you think, oh my God, I don't have any of those. But when you read it properly, you realise that you probably do have relatable things. But it's a good book. I really like his books. He's also written, I think it's The Entrepreneur Revolution, oversubscribed. I think there's another one. I'm seeing if there's um here we go. Oh, what's your business? Oh, key person of influence. Yes, I've read Key Person of Influence, Entrepreneur Revolution, Oversubscribed. But it's a really good book. I'll pop the link below, have a look at it. If you're looking to build your business, um, there's two sorts of businesses well it describes. Car. More of a lifestyle business and one of a super duper performance one. So it's a really interesting read and I definitely recommend it. So yeah. Now it's Father's Day, I've got to cook lunch for seven. People arrive in 20 minutes and I'm planning to do some YouTube videos next. So, um, always organised, always prepared, never late. <laughs> oh dear, I'll see you soon. Now, it's another one that starts with feet. So, these are my new, look how cool they are, Fairfax and Favour drivers. Now. I'll be honest, these are a size 9. I've only just come to terms with that because I've always been a size 8, maybe even a 7.5. But I think having the small people may have expanded the size of my feet, which is a bit gutting. But just don't tell anyone, okay? So these are the new drivers, and how gorgeous are they? I'm going to actually liquid proof them now, so I haven't worn them in anger. But it's so hot today, I think it's meant to be 30 degrees. And I did say I'd show them off to you. Then a little a little dance on them. Um, God, knee fell over then. That wasn't great, was it? Um, they were really grippy, which is really good, but not when you're trying to be clever. Hang on, let's go again. Ready? There we go. Look how well they move. Whew. I need to go and liquid proof them. But how beautiful are these? Very. Kind of wondering now if I should get the tan and maybe the pink and maybe the brown. This is the problem with Fairfax and Favour, it's like an addiction. You can't just have one. Really, really love them. So it has been unbelievably hot today. So they're my feet. Super hot. But I wanted to show you this view. It's, so it's Monday evening, it has been so hot today, I sweated into my eyes from my eyelids. Genuinely, I did not know eyelids could sweat. But I'm walking the dog now, it's about half nine at night, so it's quite late. But look at the sky. I mean, the phone isn't doing it justice, but it's just stunningly beautiful. It's like neon pink almost. It's just gorgeous. So, I mean, I, I hate the hot weather, I'll be honest. I don't even like hot holidays. Um, but I really feel sorry for, obviously, I've got two small children. They're about 20 months old. They're fine, they just kind of run around their pants all day. Um, which is fine, if you can get away with that. But I really feel sorry for like for animals, I have to say, dogs and horses particularly, because yeah, they've got fur coats when they really struggle. Um, I have to say, one thing that is amazing, I'm going to just big focus on the dog now, Jumbo! Ow, you've been hot, haven't you? Bimmers! So one thing that is amazing for dogs, just keep her in the thing, is the easy dry cooling coat. Um, you may have seen it, it's the blue coat that's from a company called Easy Dry, I'll pop the link below. And you just activate it in water by dunking it in water and wringing it out and pushing it on the dog and it cools through evaporation. Um, it's really great and they do I think about seven different sizes, oh she's walked off, let's show you the view again. Um, seven different sizes and it's incredible. I had, um, I had a friend send me a picture of her dog in one the other day, she bought it on either my recommendation or my mother-in-law's recommendation because uh, my dog's got one, her dog's got one and they are fabulous bits of kit. Um, if you're a retailer, they're from Trilanco, uh, the UK's largest wholesaler. I did used to work for Trilanco, I don't anymore because well, I just don't, but they're a completely fabulous company. 
lovely bunch of people and make the most spectacular products so easy dry is phenomenal they it's a brilliant product they have the coat they have a grooming towel they have a cooling mat and they also have bottled products but the cooling coat particularly for days like today is just worth its weight in gold you might have seen them at crufts at badminton at various different places but i'll put the link below um but honestly it is phenomenal i do really feel sorry for dogs especially sort of darker dogs that really absorb the heat in this weather i know the horses have been struggling but at least with them they've got a field shelter um so they can go and hide it's mainly the flies really with them they're not so fussed about the heat but the flies are ridiculous but the um for dogs definitely if your dog struggles definitely invest in an easy dry cooling coat that's my tip of the day i can't give you a whole lot of tips when it comes to kids maybe don't dress them up in clothes leave the nappy on um horses make sure they've got access to shelter and water plenty of water so really the main tip is dog related and I know I should be walking back home, but it's just so lovely here. There's a lovely, lovely breeze. The sky is gorgeous. It's gone a bit dull now, but it's just lovely here at the moment in the cool, I think. Oh, what a hot day. I don't know how people handle it in proper hot countries. Well, it is Wednesday and I've just been messing about with flat leaves. I have to say, I also had these two beauties in the picture. Um, these are both from Hi Ho, the Hi Ho Foxtail and the Cherry Roller, but I have since put them back on my wrist and it doesn't feel right not to have them. Um, so here we have got a gorgeous print called Horsepower, what is that? Um, which is absolutely beautiful by print over Robin Road Knight. There's her information. Oh, it's actually massive up here. Robin Road Knight Equestrian Art. So that is gorgeous. Uh, this is also from her, she's a little star cushion that I've actually had hanging from one of the units in the kitchen. But I wanted to include it, it's just so gorgeous. Look, little, little piaf there. Um, a little bit of racing maybe, or in a bit of a jumping position, maybe eventing. Proper jumping, proper jumping, that's a cross country jump. So it's absolutely gorgeous, I'm really thrilled with that. This is a candle that I've featured before from Han Rose. It smells amazing. It's absolutely gorgeous, so I wanted to include that. This, this is me being arty. I'm going to pick this from the uh, clematis outside. See? Arty. I had a vision in my head that it would kind of coordinate with the... Yeah, it's not... No, it's not really worked, but in my head it was great. So we also have Victoria Brand's book here, which is brilliant, and I've tweeted about and um, put on Instagram. That's what I do. It's a really, really good book. Or maybe the pink... Oh, maybe. Oh, it's not the right pink. Anyway, here we have two things I love in one, which is a gorgeous Doris mug. I was actually featured on their blog. Oh, Jesus. I was actually featured on their blog this week, which was amazing. I'll pop the link below. Um, and tea. Love tea. And then this. Now, I haven't used a huge amount of this yet. But the smell is divine. This is Hawkins Organic Lemon Drizzle Shampoo made with organic lemongrass. Um... So it's all made with lovely, lovely stuff. No nasties. Um, designed to thoroughly clean, and I'll read it here. Designed to thoroughly clean your dog. Our sensitive skin formulation does just that without stripping natural oils containing cassia bark, which is a natural and insecticide to help fight against unwanted visitors. Our shampoo leaves the coat shiny, soft, and smelling fresh. It smells amazing. And I love the name, Lemon Drizzle. I've also got a spritzer spray. Um, which I do use a bit more on the dog um, but with the weather being so hot at the moment I am planning to give her a good old lemon drizzle bath but it just oh, it smells amazing you could just sort of sit there and smell it on your desk so yeah that is my little flat lay for today I'm gonna put this on Instagram now so you'll probably see the flat lay before you see the video so a huge thank you if you have watched my vlog this week. I'm thinking of slightly tweaking them for next week. So you'll have to see what you think of that. But I would obviously like to hear your comments. So they'll be a little bit more structured. I just need to work out the structure. It is all. It's just a, a minor detail. Um, so I'm off to walk the hound. Thank God it's a bit cooler today. It's been so hot and I don't deal with the heat well. And my hair deals with it even worse. Um, so yeah. Thank God it's a bit cooler. It's God, it's always jumper weather, but it's nearly gilet weather too. Anyway, I'll leave you in peace. Thank you so much for watching. Please do give me a little thumbs up or like um, and subscribe. 
subscribe even what am I talking about please give me a thumbs up or subscribe and I'd be very very grateful thanks so much